We are about to head on one of my biggest fishing trips I've ever taken down to Dale Hollow Lake. It's just after midnight. We have a nine and a half hour drive. I'm here picking up Nathan right now, meeting Alex and Caleb down there, and hopefully we'll have some big fish to smash for you guys. But uh, yeah, super stoked. Dude's just tossing some stuff in the truck right now. So we are gonna get on the road, start this drive to the famed Dale Hollow Lake. Continue on US 10 East for 10 miles. That's the replica. Wow, this is different. We are here, back in the boat down at Dale Hollow Lake. Super, super stoked. I can't explain to you guys how excited I am to be here. Really the goal through this video is just to take you guys along on this trip with us. Um, ex let you guys experience this with us. Nathan and I have, have never really been here. I've been here once or twice, but it was so long ago I didn't really know what I was doing. So I'm really excited to get out here with some kind of continued knowledge about the sport. Um, knowledge about how to catch these fish. Uh, and really experience this with these guys. It should be a lot of fun this week. Hopefully we'll put something together, have a really good time, you know, experience a new body of water and, and a lake that's on my bucket list and, and I believe it's on these guys' bucket list as well. It's been all me in front of the camera. Are you excited, dude? I am so stoked right now. It's just cool to be in a new place like this. It's nothing like we see at home and it's just it's that excitement of something new. Let's have some fun. That's what we talked about too is like treating this like a vacation and just go fish you know what i mean like see like there's a tree right here that has about six fish on it will they bite probably not There's one. Oh, feels pretty good. Oh, you got it weird. It's a largemouth. It's a tournament largemouth. Look at that. <laughs> On an Alabama rig. My first Dale Hollow largemouth. My man comes here for smallmouth and catches greenfish. Thanks, beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> oh god, there's a lot of fish out there. Yeah. They like tripled in the amount of volume of fish that were just there. Well, well especially without having any depth. There's one. Yep. Uh, I don't know. Feels big. Yeah. Nah, like a three pounder. That's a good tournament largemouth, though. Thank you, thank you. Well, that's a nice largemouth. Thanks, bud. Heck yeah! Grassy. That's a catchable. There's one. That's a large one. Yeah. Uh, that's okay. That's a thick large one. He got a belly on him. Look at that one. That's fat. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Thanks, bud. It's so so cold, dude. Smoked it. Yeah, I saw by the way you loaded up. I kept that one a little bit higher than I've been keeping them. Today's practice day. Yeah, that's what it is, too. 
it's kind of the way we were looking at this thing, right? First day is kind of giving you a sample of things. Yep. And then you can start to dial it in. 10 feet again. Mm-hmm. It's consistently, dude, it's consistently shallower that these fish have been biting. It is weird catching largemouth out here. Yeah. Maybe that's not weird to most people, but like to us northern guys, like that is weird catching them out like this. Let me throw on this one. I want to try test a theory. Do the rigs deal. It's another smaller largemouth, but a largemouth nonetheless. So that's a largemouth pattern. You know? Yeah. It's a largemouth pattern. 10 to 12. There's got to be some cover. It's those sloping banks. Heck yeah. Dinger. Dude, if they're deep, they're not catchable. <laughs> You've been throwing on them, so I think it's a fish deal. That's what I mean. It's not like we're throwing the wrong bait at them. It could also be like a window, right? Yeah. Like there will be a window later in the day where those fish do bite. But for right now, I'm going to stick to these ones in 12 foot like this one right here. I'm not sure it matters. But you're still pretty close to them, like. Okay. It's not like you're not seeing them. Right. I just said that too. We were getting too close. Evidently not. It's another good large one, dude. You know what's really funny? Is they don't eat the target. They're only keying in on that blue bait. Well, they not one has eaten the target. It's another two pounder. Not a giant, but pretty fish and a fun way to catch them. What I said to Dirds was not one fish is eating the target. This is my target, which is a center bait. It's actually on a longer wire. So normally they'll get this target before they'll get these, um, before they get the bottom baits. So it's either the color or something about that bottom bait that they really like. And not one's gotten the target yet. Wow, look, <laughs> wow. He's got you. <laughs> This is gonna be fun. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> he got you. Yeah, I felt him. <laughs> oh, that was crazy, dude. You know how many follows it out, too. There's a ton there. Oh, yeah, he's on me hot. Oh, now he's trailing. Oh, no. oh, no. oh. <laughs> You, you swung way too early on him. He hit it. I felt oh, he him. Did it? Yeah, he just didn't get it. Oh. This is what we're looking at right now. All these are fish right here. There's a whole bunch of them. And they're pushing back up to the bank out. Yeah. Uh, dudes. Yep. See them all? Getting in the back of these drains. Oh my god, there's so many, dude. And there's throw it on the freaking bank. Yeah, you could lo you could get it on the ground. Yeah. That's a better one it feels. You got the target. Thanks, bud. I don't think these are like big ones. No, but it's fun. But it sure is fun, right? Thanks, buddy. Dude, right there where that sand transitions in. Mm -hmm. It's a great observation. You guys can see that right there. I'll grab my big camera. There's a bank transition where it goes from like shale, broken shale into sand. And uh, that's where that big pot of fish was. We don't have that back up home. I know like that's a big thing here, paying attention to transitions because that transitions out into the water. There's so much more wood on this than there is anything else we fish. Mm -hmm. That was 
sweet. That's big. That's a good small mouth. Yeah. Bye, bud. Quick release. He's going four pounder at least. Yeah. Three of them with it too. It's a nice smallie. That was cool, man. Uh -huh. He followed it forever and ever and ever. <laughs> Small mouth. Want the net? No. Oh, it is a large mouth actually. Look at that. Woo! Okay. Good? Yep. That was cool. We caught some fish, had some fun. Doesn't work. Nope. Trust me. I tried, while Ben did that, I tried everything else and nothing I tried worked. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Day one on the water at Dale Hollow was a minor success. We caught some largemouth. We started to figure out a little bit of a pattern, looking for deeper water wood and pieces of cover in the water that these fish are hanging out on. We caught a bunch of largemouth, probably at about 15 and a half pounds of largemouth, with that big one being about three and a half to four pounds. So it wasn't a phenomenal day, but we're putting piece by piece together. And uh, really that's what day one was all about. Trying to figure out some sort of pattern, some stuff we could build on for the next couple of days. But I don't know if you guys noticed, Mr. Hi. Alex Rudd was out there with us. I Alex, sucked. I mean, you caught a largemouth. I caught it. I caught one almost four pounds. It was fun. It was. I caught it on an Alabama rig. But other than that, it was just terrible. I also had about a four-pound smallmouth fall away float and fly off of a bluff wall. So Dude, check this. This is like as Tennessee as it gets here. I've taken the float off, but the fly is there. It's funny. That's like about as Tennessee as it gets. But we're gonna run. Um, Stop and get some food before we head to the Airbnb. Day one was pretty good. Look at how beautiful this place is. It's pretty insane. Get back out here tomorrow. Let's go see the Airbnb.